zero would remain at zero, but I note from the existing plans that that window is only shown to be um, to have two openings in it. So I do wonder whether the condition you put on that should not be just the remain as zero, but should have the further clauses about um, the remaining shut and get shut in the future. Uh, that's a strong condition which you also have in your battery. Um, so that really covers the building alterations. Um, and as we came back up the up the ground, I did ask um, members if they would uh, please uh, note the, uh, the position of that. You can see it on your uh, photographs, um, photographs two and three, uh, the positions of the corners of the, uh, the fence and also the, the large tree which is now included behind the fence. Um, it appears to me that the original boundary was to be concave on the from uh, the corner post and brought down from picture two um, and quite close to the existing garage and to look where the real boundary is you see in the distance. Uh, whereas now as you can see it now takes a concave route outside of the tree. And also, if you look at uh, picture number, uh, number three, there's the um, cover to a water meter. Now, uh, I'm given to understand that that used to be on, some out, on the outside of the bank of which the, um, the, the original uh, edge grew. So you can see that is now well inside the bank. And in fact, the bank fence is well out onto what was the grass verge. But if you look at picture four, you can see the hedges. Spring. And you can see the line which the chunks of the trees took, um, and there was a substantial amount of greenness out underneath the overhead before you went to the stone and part of the lane. So you can well understand why the, the neighbours would be upset about this. Now, I know you're going to say, look, boundaries are not an issue for planning, you're quite right, but I referred you to the, um, the start of the, the beginning of the agenda. I think where it says, at part inclusion of the lane with the residential pilgrimage. Well, isn't that a giveaway? Um, you are now being asked to change the use of part of what the public thought was there in the part of somebody's residential pilgrimage. Now, if I was sitting where you were sitting, I think I'd be very uncomfortable about that. And how would it be if any of us decided to fence off a piece of the large version of the bar box? Wouldn't we expect somebody from the council to come along and say, hey, what about this? And then perhaps they could further we can do something about it. So you know, that's obviously up to you. Um, now, Mr. Shields, with his um, motoring expertise, has referred to the safety issue with regards to the lane. If you look at photograph one, um, you can see the impression you get as you drive down the lane from council to lane end. That's rather to me give the perception of wanting to make you veer off to the right as soon as you get past the, the, the line for them on the right there. Uh, and that is the danger because it is well walked by pedestrians, dog walkers, um, people who go to talk to their tram school, um, horses even, there's a ride with that. And the narrowing of the lane has pushed the whole thing over to the right as you get in that picture. Um, those of you who went on the site visit um, saw, um, I referred to a sandstone pillar which was visible at the site now of the right hand line, which is behind the right door. And also a cardboard box which was in place to represent where the pillar had once stood. Um, the pillar had been moved back quite substantially to make it easier, uh, to take the floor and make it easier to get in and out of the property adjacent to it. So on the one hand, you had the lane made easier by the movement of the sandstone pillar. On the other hand, you've had it made more difficult by the building of this high fence in a position well outside the original line of the, the edge which it replaced. <coughs> so, there you are, members. You've been offered some conditions which mitigate um, problems with any uh, with the inventions. Um, I've pointed out a couple of uh, more things I think it's been missed. But you still have the fence facing you. You're being offered uh, having it stained, um, which will certainly turn it down. Um, there is an assumption that you're going to be half that height, so you have to decide.
decide whether that is suitable or not. Uh, but all in all, should it be there at all? And um, I appeal to you to either impose what conditions you can, or sadly, um, have to refuse the whole thing and um, invite the applicant to think again and come back with something which is more in keeping with what the residents of the way and I think the provisions of the national planning policy framework want things which are better rather than worse. Thank you. Thanks, Jeff. And before I open the
the idea of showing the fence was to show that uh, not necessarily they have built the fence or all I think it was to show that there has been an obstruction of view there before and that this fence just if anything carried that position on doesn't make it any worse, any any better. Um, with regards to the development itself on the rear of the property, I don't see an issue with that. I noticed there was and it was very useful to go on site with it over the days on that because there was significant sort of foliage on um, both lines I think to um, for, for the rear decking, so that was not an issue in terms of overall looking for me. With regards to the fence, um, I don't think the extra three to four in any way creates um, uh, any sort of significant traffic issues on, on the way. Um, I agree with David, it is the best thing to look at, and so the condition for staying in a much darker colour, I think, is welcome. Uh, but apart from that, I can't really see any issue with it. Um, That's fine.
photograph one at um, Watchfield, which you know, I'm picturing, you know, a, a hedge there. Um, I can't see how the difference between the fence and the hedge would make me drive left, right, or right through the middle of it. You know, require me, I would have thought, to drive with due regard to the lack of visibility that I'm going And with regard to the fact that someone was up to someone was up to go, I can't see any grounds for all the people. I wouldn't wish to be Yes, Centre. There are some residential properties adjacent to the 
So it is not considered that increasing the hours of operation will result in unacceptable loss of immunity, full of noise and disturbance, and other words with the use of the planning commission. Deprecation has been supported with a noise assessment that has been appraised by colleagues in environmental health and, and concludes no significant impacts or effects would result by allowing the extended opening hours. As such, the proposal is recommended for approval and uh, further meditation. Is there a board council on this evening? Okay, can I get it? Got the two things on the